to harvesting and amusing robots. The rise of robots in cultivating and harvesting mass vegetable production contributes to large-scale vegetable production. The industry is heading towards more technology on the farm, which could include agricultural robots. By using precision farming techniques, they use sensors, artificial intelligence, and robotic arms to plant seeds, monitor crops, apply fertilizers, and precisely harvest vegetables. It's to make the cultivation more sustainable, Barry can be part of that solution by harvesting safely, reliable, and all day long. Maximizing efficiency and yield. Join us in this video as we discuss how robots grow and harvest millions of vegetables every day. In agriculture that's using robots in the field is Driscoll's Berries. You might recognize them. It's the largest berry distributor in the world. Seed sowing is one of the main agricultural activities. It requires a lot of human effort and is also time consuming. This simple seed sowing machine consists of one robotic arm, to sow the seeds from the seed container. The robot arm is programmed to move in the correct position using a smartphone app. After the switch is on, the arm sows the seed automatically. A smartphone app can also control the robot's wheel. Using a cleverly designed mechanical system, this system completely automates the seed sowing process. This machine reduces the time and cost of sowing the seeds. This robot is able to plant all of our seeds for our nursery. Seeding robots are primarily utilized in the development of crops or environmental monitoring systems, where they collect data or execute specific tasks. This field is emerging, showing promise for streamlined and automated processes. These robots are tailored to efficiently plant seeds in agricultural fields, enhancing precision and minimizing the need for manual labor. To achieve accurate planting and boost crop yield, they leverage advanced technologies like AI and GPS. It can sow about 600 seeds in a morning's work, the equivalent of two football fields in a day. Automated seeding robots use sensors, cameras, and advanced algorithms to precisely determine optimal seed depths and intervals. The sensors monitor soil conditions while the cameras record images for analysis. Algorithms use this data to adjust planting conditions, ensuring that seeds are planted at the right depth and spacing for optimal growth. Farmot precisely sows seeds in any pattern and density you want. Using GPS technology, seeding robots navigate through fields. GPS data provides precise location information, allowing robots to follow predefined routes or change directions based on real-time data. To aid navigation and avoid obstacles, some systems may also include additional sensors, such as LiDAR or cameras, which can move autonomously and gather information through sensors. Automated seeding robots revolutionize large-scale vegetable growing. They have many benefits, including robots working at full speed, reducing the time needed for sowing and improving overall efficiency. These robots can precisely plant seeds at desired depths and intervals, maximizing crop yields by using advanced sensors and algorithms. Looking forward to the contribution of the seed planting robot that it can drive to a planting site, and uh, deposit seedlings and carry on and do it all over again. Also, automation eliminates the need for manual labor, resulting in long-term cost savings. Consistent planting. Robots maintain a consistent planting pattern, minimizing uneven crop distribution and encouraging uniform growth. Integrated sensors can gather data on soil conditions, enabling farmers to make informed decisions on better crop management farms are using technology to improve the quality of automated seeding robots enhance sustainability in farming by reducing seed water and fertilizer overuse they improve efficiency on large-scale vegetable farms through precise uniform seeding resulting in increased crop yields advantages include precision speed and consistent planting patterns enabled by advanced sensors and algorithms this technology minimizes uneven crop distribution and promotes uniform growth Seeding robots offer numerous advantages over traditional manual seeding, contingent upon various factors such as the context, crop characteristics, and technological advancements. They excel in providing precise and uniform seed placement, reducing plant spacing variability, and ensuring even distribution. This precision enhances crop yield and resource efficiency significantly compared to manual seeding methods. Seeding robots can be used for up to eight hours a day, 
sweeping large areas quickly. This cost effectiveness is especially beneficial for large-scale farming because it reduces the time required for seeding. Automated seeding reduces the need for manual labor, addressing issues such as labor shortages and associated costs. This is particularly true in areas where finding an agricultural workforce is difficult. Robots do not experience fatigue like humans, ensuring consistent results over long periods of time. This can be especially important during peak planting seasons when human labor can be pushed to a halt. It's hitting our industry 100 miles an hour. And if we don't move with the times, you start to fall behind. However, it's also important to note that human expertise is still valuable in agriculture. Humans have a combination of adaptability, problem-solving skills, and the ability to tackle unexpected challenges. The effectiveness of seeding robots is determined by factors such as the species of crop, specific farming techniques, and the degree of technological integration. In most cases, a combination of automation and human intervention can be the most cost-effective option. Activities in greenhouses will be automized by robots. Having discussed the seeding robots, these questions should pop into our minds. Which robots and drones are used for weed control? How do these drones identify weeds? Join us in the next chapter as we reveal how weeding drones work. Commercial products became available. This machine is a DJI product. Weeding drones are unmanned aerial vehicles that can detect and eliminate weeds in agricultural fields. They usually use cameras and sensors. Drones are equipped with cameras and sensors that record images of the environment. Advanced algorithms analyze these results to identify and distinguish weeds from crops. Once weeds have been identified, drones can operate precision spraying systems to apply herbicides only where necessary, minimizing chemical use and environmental impact. With a full tank of herbicide, which is 10 liters. Weeding drones use GPS technology to provide precise navigation, much like seeding robots. As a result of this, they are able to follow specific directions and target specific areas with weed infestations. Weeding drones have many advantages, including efficient and targeted herbicide control, less reliance on manual labor, and reduced herbicide use. They lead to more sustainable and cost-effective farming practices. The machine will take off and then go directly to those patches. Drones used for weed control are equipped with a variety of tools to identify and control weeds. The DJI Agris T16 is a powerful agricultural drone that can be used to cover large areas with pesticides or herbicides. For precise navigation and obstacle detection, it uses radar and vision sensors. So what I'm going to do now is put some water into the machine and run it through the sprayers. Sensefly EBX with Duet T. This fixed wing drone is designed for use in agriculture and captures high resolution images. With the Duet payload, it can perform targeted spraying tasks for weed control. In fields of parrot bluegrass, this drone is equipped with multi-spectral sensors for a precise plant health assessment. It can identify areas with weed infestations, assisting farmers in identifying specific areas for treatment. The Yamaha R-Max is a helicopter-style drone that is commonly used in Japan for crop spraying. It is known for its versatility in agricultural applications, as it can carry liquid payloads for weed control. Uh, so it's fully stabilized, but all of the sticks are just basic mode two. These drones enhance weed control efforts by providing effective and precise solutions, resulting in more sustainable and efficient farming practices. To locate weeds in agricultural fields, weeding drones use advanced imaging techniques and AI. Drones are often equipped with multispectral and or RGB cameras that capture images in multiple spectral bands, such as infrared, these photographs contain detailed information about the crop and weed health. Not quite as exciting as a full-scale crop duster, but that's what makes it safer. The drones onboard systems collect and process the captured images. Healthy crops and weeds can be distinguished by multi-spectral features based on their unique spectral features. The collected data is analyzed by AI algorithms, which are often based on machine learning. These algorithms are based on large data sets to find patterns associated with various species of crops and weeds. Weeding drones combine advanced imaging technologies with artificial intelligence to provide an effective and targeted approach to weed control in agriculture. Which is commonly referred to as artificial intelligence. The cost comparisons between weeding drones and human labor in agriculture are based on a variety of factors, 
including the size of the operation, the variety of crops, and the specific technologies used. There is an upfront cost for the drone itself, sensors, cameras, and any additional equipment. The cost will vary depending on the complexity of the system. I connect again to the drone by selecting aerial scouting path. Drones have costs such as maintenance, electricity, and the cost of herbicides or pesticides used for weed control. They can cover large areas quickly and operate continuously without interruption, potentially reducing the need for multiple human workers. Human resources include wages, health insurance, and possibly housing for employees. Depending on the location and labor market conditions, this price can vary dramatically. Human labor can be slower and less effective in large agricultural fields, particularly when dealing with large fields. It also depends on the workforce's availability and skill set. In order to prepare your parent bluegrass fields, open the bag and take out the ball. Skilled labor for precise weeding may require additional training, which could raise the overall labor cost. The cost effectiveness of weeding drones over human labor varies depending on the size of the farm, the degree of automation, and the local labor market. Although drones may have higher initial costs, they can provide long-term benefits through increased efficiency, reduced herbicide use, and reduced reliance on manual labor. The specific economic analysis would, however, be carried out on a case-by-case -case basis. After learning how weeding drones work, these questions linger. What are the AI systems that manage irrigation? How do these systems analyze data from various sensors to optimize watering schedules? Join us in the next chapter as we delve into how watering AI works. By using drones, farmers can save time. Watering AI refers to the use of artificial intelligence AI in intelligent irrigation systems to improve the watering process in agriculture. Watering AI systems often include various components such as soil moisture sensors, weather sensors, and even satellite data. These sensors provide real-time data about soil conditions, weather patterns, and other relevant variables. AI algorithms process the data to find the specific needs of the crops. Based on soil type, crop type, weather conditions, and historical data, machine learning algorithms can estimate how much water is required. AI algorithms determine when, how, and how much water to use. To optimize irrigation schedules, they take into account current moisture levels, weather forecasts, and the crop's water requirements. It then uses that knowledge to autonomously farm the crops. With automated irrigation systems, many watering AI systems are integrated. This allows for precise control of water delivery amounts and timings. Some systems can also be remotely controlled or programmed using mobile devices. Watering AI has the following benefits. Adjusting irrigation to match actual crop needs helps pump water more efficiently, thereby reducing waste. Automated and optimized irrigation systems can cut down on water and electricity expenses. Giving crops the precise amount of water they need at the right times encourages healthier growth and could lead to increased yields. Watering AI is just one aspect of the broader trend in precision agriculture, which seeks to enhance resource use efficiency and boost agricultural productivity overall. Several AI algorithms have been developed to handle irrigation effectively in agriculture. Here are a few notable examples. Traditional irrigation methods have been the backbone of agriculture for centuries. CCROPX uses soil sensors and AI algorithms to improve irrigation. The system continuously monitors soil moisture, temperature, and other pertinent data. AI analyzes this data to make irrigation recommendations, which can be implemented automatically. The SWIM system, also known as Sustainable Water and Innovative Irrigation Management, uses hardware and software to monitor water quality. It uses sensors to monitor soil moisture levels and AI to create irrigation schedules based on crop needs and water availability. So we can use a fraction of the chemical that we did previously. Valley 365 by Valmont Irrigation is an AI-driven irrigation management tool. To create precise irrigation plans, it incorporates data from a variety of sources, such as weather forecasts and satellite imagery. Farmers can remotely monitor and control their irrigation using a user-friendly interface. Second big question is how exactly do the pivot sections stay in line with each other? Precision Hawk's Precision Analytics Agriculture app leverages AI and machine learning to examine data from numerous sources, such as satellite and drone photos. 
It provides information about crop health, stress levels, and water requirements, enabling more accurate irrigation decisions. With the help of sensors and an AI-driven interface, Aquaspy is an oil monitoring service. The system measures soil moisture, temperature, and electrical conductivity. The AI algorithms use this information to make irrigation decisions. These AI-driven irrigation management schemes result in water conservation, higher crop yields, and improved resource utilization in agriculture by tailoring irrigation practices to the specific needs of crops and soil conditions. AI methods are much more effective than human-based approaches to irrigation in agriculture. Is how exactly do the pivot sections stay in line with each other? Here are some of the main advantages. AI systems analyze real-time data such as soil moisture, weather conditions, and crop requirements to make precise and optimized irrigation decisions. With manual techniques, this degree of precision is impossible to achieve consistently. Irrigation gives us a way to play catch-up and give us access to those higher value crops. AI systems operate continuously and can change irrigation schedules quickly based on changing conditions. This efficiency is in stark contrast to human-operated systems, which may have difficulties monitoring and adapting to changing environmental conditions. Decision-making Using big data sets and machine learning algorithms, AI makes data-driven decisions. This results in more precise forecasts of water needs and better adaptation to specific crop and soil conditions. AI-driven systems help to conserve water by minimizing water use and energy consumption associated with unnecessary irrigation. Many watering systems are integrated with automation, allowing for remote monitoring and control. This eliminates the need for constant human intervention and manual adjustments. Despite these advantages, it's important to consider factors such as the initial cost of implementing AI systems and the need for technical expertise. In addition, human judgment and adaptability can also play a role in responding to unique or unexpected situations. The effectiveness of watering AI versus human management will vary depending on the particular situation and the degree of technology adoption in a given agricultural operation. After revealing how watering AI works, these questions should be asked. Which robots are specifically designed for harvesting? How do these robots identify ripe vegetables? Come with us in the next chapter as we reveal these harvesting robots. Robots of Farming Revolution use the information from cameras to remove weeds with rotary choppers. Harvesting robots are computer-controlled machines that are programmed to perform various tasks related to crop harvesting and agriculture. These robots are equipped with advanced equipment to gather crops efficiently and precisely. Computer vision is used by harvesting robots to locate ripe crops. They can tell between mature fruits and vegetables and unripe ones thanks to this technique. Many harvesting robots are equipped with robotic arms or grippers that can be used to gently pick or cut crops without harming them. These arms can be programmed for different crops. Several harvesting robots use machine learning techniques to improve their ability to recognize and handle various crop types. They are able to adapt to different field conditions and improve harvesting efficiency by doing so. GPS technology is often integrated into harvesting robots for precise navigation in the field. This way, the robots follow predefined routes and cover the entire harvesting area. He is an action-packed farming video if there ever was one. I am at a crossroad farm. Automated harvesting reduces the need for manual labor, which is especially beneficial in situations where there is a shortage of farm workers or during peak harvesting seasons when labor demands are high. Operation 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with continuous harvesting capabilities. This is particularly beneficial for crops with a narrow harvest window. Several robots have been developed specifically for harvesting in agriculture. Here are a few examples. The Octinian Rubian machine is designed for strawberry picking. It uses soft touch technology to gently pick ripe strawberries without harming them. The robot is able to identify and harvest only the mature fruits thanks to computer vision and sensors. The F Robotics F6 is designed for apple picking. The robot can position itself to pick the fruit, then grab it. That's the hard part. It recognizes and picks ripe apples based on color and size using advanced sensors and a robotic arm. It can be used for a long time, enhancing the orchard's efficiency. 
The Agribot SW6010 is a handheld device that can be used for the harvesting of various fruits, including strawberries. It uses a combination of cameras and sensors to identify ripe fruits and uses robotic arms with soft touch technology for precise harvesting. Harvest Crew Robotics is specifically made for picking strawberries. It works as part of a fleet and detects ripe strawberries using machine vision. Robotic arms gently pick the strawberries and conveyor belts transport them for packing. Energide Technologies Actin. Actin is a software component used in robotic devices for various purposes, including harvesting. It provides advanced motion control and route planning, enhancing the harvesting robot's agility and precision. These robots demonstrate the essential technologies and design requirements for efficient and cost-effective harvesting of various crops. Their development aims to address challenges such as labor shortages, lower harvesting costs, and improve crop yield in the agricultural industry. It to fit to the grower's individual needs. Harvesting robots use visual recognition technology and careful manipulation techniques to identify and harvest ripe vegetables without harming them. Here's a rundown of the process. High-resolution cameras and sensors are included in harvesting robots, capturing images of the crops. Spectral imaging is used to study the color, shape, and other physical characteristics of vegetables. Some robots use multispectral or hyperspectral imaging. They are able to distinguish subtle differences between ripe and unripe fruits because of this. Paddles move the bushel leaves, high-tech cameras, and artificial intelligence locate. The captured images are processed by advanced algorithms, which are often based on machine learning. These algorithms have been developed on large data sets to detect specific characteristics associated with ripeness. In different species of vegetables, the AI makes real-time predictions about the ripeness of each particular vegetable to determine whether it is suitable for harvesting. Harvesting robots are equipped with robotic arms with grippers or special tools for grasping vegetables. These arms are designed to be precise and gentle. Some robots use soft touch technology, using compliant materials or mechanisms to give a smooth grip to the vegetables. During the harvesting process, there is no chance of blistering or injury. Robots often use GPS or other localization devices to navigate within the field. This way, they can easily locate each ripe vegetable's location. Algorithms help the robot follow straight paths through the field, obtaining ripe vegetables without making unnecessary movements. Harvesting robots are designed to select only ripe vegetables while leaving unripe ones on the plant. This targeted approach increases yield and ensures efficient use of resources. Harvesting robots can identify, assess, and harvest ripe vegetables with precision and minimal harm. Thanks to the use of visual recognition technology, AI algorithms, and carefully designed robotic manipulation. It's an organic weeding machine. We also do uh, fertilization with this machine. This technology improves productivity in agriculture and addresses challenges associated with labor shortages. After showcasing the harvesting robots, it's essential to ask which robots are used in the post-harvesting process. How do these robots sort vegetables by size and quality? Follow us to the next chapter as we explain the sorting and packing process of harvesting robots. It's hitting our industry 100 miles an hour. And if we don't move with the times, you start to fall behind. Robots are crucial in numerous post-harvest tasks, enabling smoother operations and greater efficiency within the agricultural supply chain. Sorting and grading robots, for instance, utilize computer vision and machine learning to classify harvested produce according to quantity, shape, and ripeness. With their ability to swiftly and accurately categorize items, these robots enhance the overall quality of the products. Packaging robots streamline the handling of fruits, vegetables, and other cultivated products by automating the process. They are capable of working with various packaging materials and formats, ensuring optimal flexibility and consistency throughout packing operations. Palletizing robots, on the other hand, are responsible for placing packaged goods onto pallets facilitating their storage or transportation. They can be used in a variety of shapes and sizes. No, safe to put the hand It's quite safe. Okay, just get, okay. Enhancing the accuracy and precision of palletization tasks. 
Quality inspection robots monitor the consistency of the produce after harvest by using advanced sensors and image technology. They can spot flaws, cuts, or other imperfections, ensuring that only high-quality products are available on the market. Warehouse automation robots in warehouses assist with the movement and organization of finished products. Automated guided vehicles, AGVs, or autonomous mobile robots can transport goods within storage facilities, thereby improving inventory management. Cold storage robotics robots assist in the operation of cold storage facilities, ensuring that the best conditions are available for storing perishable items. Wir da bei der Tiefkühlhaus Neuhof können 13.700 Paletten einlagern. They can do tasks such as stacking and retrieving products in temperature-controlled environments. Robotic deleafing and trimming. Some robots are designed to deleaf or trim plants in the process after harvest. This prepares the product for further processing or packaging. Washing and sanitizing using robots. Robots with spraying or washing capabilities aid in the cleaning and sanitizing of harvested produce. This is vital to maintaining food safety requirements. Robots can be used to increase accuracy, precision, and consistency during post-harvest operations. It also addresses issues relating to labor shortages, particularly during the peak harvesting seasons. The use of robotics in post-harvest activities contributes to the overall sustainability of the agricultural supply chain. Robots process vegetables to size and quality and pack them for distribution using a combination of advanced technologies such as computer vision, machine learning, and robotic manipulation. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of the process. Vegetables are transported to a processing plant where sorting and packing robots are stationed after harvesting. Computer vision devices and sensors are used to obtain detailed photographs of each vegetable. These data are crucial for determining size, shape, color, and quality. Machine learning algorithms are programmed on large data sets to detect patterns consistent with different sizes and quality standards. These algorithms analyze the photographs and make recommendations about the classification of each vegetable. The sorting procedure is carried out by robot arms equipped with grippers or special tools. The robots pick up each vegetable and place it in the appropriate category or bin based on size and quality, according to vision systems and machine learning algorithms. Conveyor systems transport the transported vegetables to various stations within the production process. Each station corresponds to a specific size or quality category. Robots process the sorted vegetables and pack them in a designated container. These robots are programmed to handle a variety of packaging materials and formats, ensuring flexibility in the packing process. The packaged vegetables are arranged on pallets for distribution by palletizing robots. These robots can optimize the transport and storage processes. Some robots also have additional quality testing steps. Das heißt, wenn wir zusätzliche Dienstleistungen würden anbieten, könnten wir das implementieren im System. They may use computers to check for defects, bruises, or other imperfections before packaging, ensuring that only high-quality produce is available to consumers. The entire process is highly automated, and the robots work seamlessly together in a cohesive system. A smooth and efficient operation is achieved through collaboration between various components. Data is recorded and monitored throughout the process. This data can be useful for quality control, traceability, and process improvement. Sorting and packing robots can handle large volumes of vegetables quickly and accurately by combining these two technologies. This automation increases productivity, reduces labor costs, and improves the overall quality of the products that reach consumers.